Hey guys, I'm Pop Lito. Watch this video to learn about all the worst ways sugar affects your body from my dude Andy. Here are all the worst ways that sugar affects your body. Number 10. It makes you fat. A fact that many people don't know or tend to forget is that getting fat isn't just about the amount of calories we consume. Not all calories are created equal. Based on their chemical structure, different foods will affect our brain and hormones differently and some indirectly affect our weight by influencing our dietary habits. What does sugar have to do with this? Fructose, which is a component of table sugar and many other sugar-based products, doesn't satisfy the hunger center as well as glucose does. A study has shown that a person who drank fructose-sweetened drink had less activity in the satiety center in his brain compared to someone who drank a glucose-sweetened drink. In fact, they felt even more hungry. Another study shows that the hunger hormone known as ghrelin isn't lowered much by fructose compared to glucose. Since the calorie intake from sugar isn't very fulfilling, it can lead to more and more caloric intake, making you gain weight over time. The I'm full signal is just never received. That's just one side of the story. Apart from the outside, sugar also makes your insides fat. Fructose triggers your liver to store fat even more, and over time it will become full with globules of fat. This is a precursor to fatty liver disease, something that was once almost exclusively seen in heavy drinkers only. Number 9. Sugar makes you diabetic. There are two main types of diabetes. One is caused by low insulin production, which is usually genetic in nature. This is known as diabetes type 1. The other one, diabetes type 2, isn't caused by deficient insulin, but rather by insulin resistance. The body produces enough of the hormone, but the body cells resist its effect. This is what excess sugar does to the body. Insulin is important as it allows the cells to utilize glucose to be used as energy. Repeated excessive sugar intake leads to the resistance to insulin, which ultimately leads to type 2 diabetes. Too much sugar in the blood is highly toxic, with terrible complications such as blindness and peripheral nerve damage. A study published by PLOS ONE revealed that for every extra 150 calories of sugar consumed by a person each day is associated with an increased chance of diabetes by 1.1%. And that's not the end of it. Ever heard of diabetes type 3? It's a term coined by scientists referring to Alzheimer's after they found a correlation between the disease and insulin resistance. According to the study, Alzheimer's could very well be a metabolic disease as insulin resistance impairs the brain's ability to utilize glucose as a source of energy leading to dementia. Number 8. Sugar damages your heart. So, you know that excessive sugar intake leads to diabetes, a chronic lifelong disease with endless complications. Did you also know that the main cause of death for people with diabetes type 2 is stroke and heart disease? Although heart disease doesn't get as much spotlight time as cancer and AIDS, it is in fact the number one killer in the first world. While an unhealthy, sedentary lifestyle and smoking are established major risk factors, so are eating habits. People tend to blame saturated fat as the proprietor for heart disease, but new evidence has shown that saturated fat actually isn't as harmful as we thought, and it is actually sugar that hammers the heart. This happens through the harmful effects of fructose on your body's metabolism. When present in high amounts, fructose triggers the rise of triglycerides and harmful low-density lipoproteins, which are all major risk factors for obesity and cardiac diseases. Number 7. Sugar damages your teeth. You've probably been hearing this since you could remember, but the point still stands and is worth mentioning. Candy is bad for your teeth. Sugar is one of your teeth's worst enemies as it provides a readily digestible energy source for all the nasty bacteria that lurk in the mouth between the teeth lining. Feeding on simple sugars, these bacteria create acid that destroys enamel. Without proper oral and dental hygiene, consuming sugars will only give you cavities and tooth decay. And because acid is the key culprit here, sour candies are simply the worst. According to dentists, large consumptions of carbonated soda drinks could be as damaging to your teeth as taking meth and crack cocaine. Not to mention, a lot of added sugars such as high fructose corn syrup are considered empty or worthless calories as they contain no essential nutrients whatsoever. 
the only thing they're good for is giving taste to food and making you fat. And it ruins your teeth. Trust your dentists on this one. Number six, sugar leads to hypertension. A spoonful of sugar might help the medicine go down, but take more than 10 teaspoons a day and you'll end up having to take more medicine on a daily basis. We've talked about how sugar causes diabetes through resistance to insulin. In a desperate and futile attempt to lower the rising blood glucose level, a diabetic person's pancreas will inject more and more insulin into circulation. This leads to excess insulin in the bloodstream, which takes its toll on the arteries and veins. Smooth muscle cells tend to grow at a fast rate under the effects of chronic high insulin levels. This causes the blood vessels lining them to become tensed, leading to high blood pressure and a higher chance of dying from a heart attack or stroke. People usually associate hypertension with salty foods, but research has actually proved that not to be true. Instead, sugary food has been proven to be the culprit. Number five, sugar raises your cholesterol level. There is this disturbing link between sugar and cholesterol levels. Studies have proven that people who ate the highest amount of added sugars would experience worse cases of cholesterol chaos. This is seen in the form of a spike in low-density lipoproteins, which are the bad fat molecules, and a decrease in high-density lipoproteins, which are the good cholesterols. The reason behind this? An overload in sugar consumption forces your poor liver to churn out more bad cholesterol, while at the same time inhibiting your body from clearing it out of your system. Eating large amounts of added sugar more than tripled the risk of having low HDL, the good cholesterol, which is a major risk factor for heart disease. Number four, sugar makes you depressed. When stressed, some people resort to emotional eating and consume large amounts of sugar to alleviate their mood. But instead of making themselves feel better, they end up more and more depressed. A study was conducted and published in Public Health Journal, which followed the lives of 9,000 people to find the relationship between depression and eating sugary junk food. It was found that those who had been eating sugary food for years had a 40% higher risk of developing depression compared to those who shunned such food. This is because dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter in the brain, appears in very low levels in those who have developed insulin resistance. This doesn't mean that sugar will definitely turn your smile upside down. Chocolate, for instance, makes you release serotonin that generates a pleasurable feeling. Eating sugar releases dopamine, which makes you feel good in the short run. But similar to drugs, without moderation, a tolerance would soon develop, creating the opposite effect in the long run. Sugar turns you into a junkie? Like we've just mentioned, sugar acts as a pleasure-inducing drug by releasing dopamine into the brain's reward center. This makes it highly addictive, as people consume more of it to feel good. The problem is that we end up exposed to more doses of dopamine than we would normally get from natural foods. Studies conducted on lab rats show that when the creatures binge on sugar, they develop tremors and chattering teeth and become anxious when deprived of it. Although some might disagree, food addiction is a real thing and studies have shown that the neurochemical changes in the brain really do resemble those seen in substance abuse, such as that of cocaine. The rewarding effects are blunted in those food-addicted individuals, meaning they have to consume more sugar than before in order to achieve the same effect. People who tend to get addicted easily are advised to stay away from the sweet stuff to avoid becoming a food junkie. Complete abstinence might seem harsh, but it could be the only thing that works against true addiction. Undergoing a sugar-free diet might be difficult at first, but after your tongue gets used to it, the food you once craved will end up sickeningly sweet. Number two, sugar speeds up your aging. Did you know that too much sugar wrecks your face? Sugar that enters your bloodstream combines with certain protein and lipid molecules to create advanced glycation end products or ages. Now, I'm not sure if that abbreviation is just a coincidence, but ages certainly ages you. These unwanted molecules attack protein fibers in collagen and elastin, which is the stuff that keeps your skin firm and elastic. Too much sugar makes your skin all wrinkly and saggy. Our body's antioxidant enzymes also get deactivated by harmful ages, making the skin more vulnerable to skin cancer. And that's not all. 
Age molecules play another factor in the aging process through the development and worsening of many degenerative diseases, including atherosclerosis and chronic kidney disease. Number one, sugar may give you cancer. With the widespread of carcinogens all around us in many different forms, it's no wonder that cancer has climbed its way to become one of the leading causes of death worldwide. The disease could come in many forms and involve different types of tissues, but all characterized by uncontrolled cell growth and multiplication. And one of the key hormones in regulating cell growth is insulin. For this reason, according to a lot of scientists, a constant high level of insulin due to diabetes could be a factor in the formation of cancer. On top of that, the various metabolic problems caused by high sugar intake are associated with inflammation, another possible cause of cancer. A Chinese study found that those who drink two or more cans of soda a week are at twice the risk of developing pancreatic cancer compared to those who don't drink them. Some conclude that the link may be because high sugar consumption is associated with other morbidities such as diabetes and obesity, both of which are already agreed to be risk factors for pancreatic cancer. Still, it's something to be afraid of, and cutting down on the sugar in your diet is for sure something that's worth doing. Here's what's next. Greg Valentino has been considered a bit excessive. While he trained naturally for years, he eventually began to take steroids. But even that wasn't enough for him. He decided to inject his arms with propionate and equipoise, which is what morphed his body into what looked like a cartoonish action figure.